That was a song, the joyous song of the 3DS. Yes, it is coming out in less than a week. Why do I have this code? Okay, I usually don't do videos like this of games, but this is more than a game. I've been waiting all year for this. Where's the stop button? But, um... <clears throat> Sorry. But, um... So, I went to Best Buy to test it out. But all it had was Pilot Wings Resort. I hated that. But I did see the 3D. Hmm. I can show you the 3D right now. Serious, without the 3DS. Well, this was like a depth and it had depth in it. The Pilot Wings Resort, it wasn't really popping out at you. But, uh, an easy test. If you're dying to see the 3DS, I'll tell you what it's like, and you can do it right now. Easy test to do is put your hand out in front of you and look at it. Are you looking at it? Are you looking at it? Uh, I can't see you. Um, well, well, then, um, after you look at it, look behind it. Oh, now I see the camera. Yeah. But we can switch back and switch back. So basically, there's like a like a plane or hang glider, rocket belt, whichever one you want. The one that had the most pop out was a plane because its tail was kind of popping out, but that was it. But uh, you can see a plane and you can look and you can look into the horizon. Oh, I see a mountain coming. Dodge. It's very cool. Then I got bored of Pilot Wings Resort because there's a very bad demo. I don't recommend that as a game, though. It doesn't. I mean, you can see the 3D, but it's fine, though, but it's pretty boring. So then. I did something. <laughs> I'm evil. I'm an evil little genius. I uh, pressed, uh, I turned the system off, pressed the LR select start button for three seconds. Then I pressed the power button really quickly. It asked, like, for something. It was like, uh, do you want to turn it off with power or sleep mode? But if you press the home button, it says press home to go back to the home. You press home, and you're back. It's a little, I wouldn't say hack, but a little glitch that it has. Either that, or it's they actually access the uh, home menu for the demo menu. But they wouldn't show it. So I saw the, the, uh, the, the uh, home menu, and here is a little clip. Because my mom was there recording. Don't mind her. She's a bad cameraman. And she was kind of... Uh, you have to see the clip. <laughs> that face raiders thing is freaky, you know? Uh, um, basically, this can adjust the... Um, screen brightness. I guess power saving mode, it like goes to sleep after a while. Um, this increases the, uh, gr uh, uh, this decreases the, uh, size of the icons to order in there. I'll leave it at that. This, uh, is a game note when you choose one and you write on it. Wow. It does that too? Yeah, it does it. The game. And then the race, uh, racer. Clear. Clear. Clear it. Wow. Okay. Excellent.
Um, Excellent job. Uh, there's a buddy friend list. Friend list? But there are no friends on the list. How many? Can't show that. Okay. Um, David, you look guilty like you're doing something wrong. <laughs> and then this is a notification. This just says all about the 3DS. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm turning down. And yeah. this, this is the internet browser, and it'll it, it'll be uh it'll enabled in the um the update. And let's see. Uh, I don't want to do Me Maker because uh, save it. AR cards. I have. I don't have an AR card. Face Raiders. No. Activity log. Hey, it's hitting a light. It's not. You gotta jump. Okay, better. The light's back. Wall. Okay. Okay. Good. You can see that? Okay. Um. Me Maker. This is a Street Pass Me Plaza. Sound camera. The camera looks fun, but it might save it to the internal. I don't want to do that. Um. Okay, I'm, out. I'm shutting. Okay, hold on. Um, download, play. Give me a troll. This is an activity log. Let's see that. Activity. This is like daily records. Today. Steps. Okay, I'm shutting there are down. no steps. Okay, back. You're using up all my. Yeah. You could see, she kept on saying a million times, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it off. I wanted to turn her off. Okay, but... So, um... Yeah, it was very cool. And I actually got to play with some of the functions after she turned it off. Uh, although... Uh, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to or not to do that, but I did. Actually, a worker went up to me, and she said, and then she's like, oh, yeah, that thing is amazing. And then, like, she looks at it suspiciously, like, and she's like, oh, there it is. That's the, that's the, uh, that is the, um, um, uh, that, that's the, uh, uh, depth slider, and it adjusts the, uh, Intensity, I'm like, yes, it's very cool. And then she walks away, un not realizing that I'm on the home menu and it's not the demo. But that was funny. Um, I thought I was surely going to get in trouble with it. Okay, but... Uh, and then... Uh, uh, so... Um... I did look at the camera. The camera function. Uh, the camera function. Uh, it was okay, but I'm not sure. I think the thing was messed up or something because I like took out like the stylus and started like putting it towards it, and it was like messing it up. And that was when I first got eye strain. I never got eye strain. Until I did that, and then my eyes started tearing, which I, I thought that was really weird because I never got eye strain. It, it seems like the more popped out it is, the more your eyes are gonna explode or something. But anyways, it kind of looked weird because it was like coming out, and then another one was going off to the side. It, it was messed up or something. I'm not sure if that's actually for the real DS. And then the depth slider is amazing. It can go from nice really crisp 3d to nothing just 2d and it's so cool i mean i think that's without the depth slider the depth slider i can't say depth very well uh without the depth slider you um what are you, you, you what are you doing in my 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 clip what's this how to handle disappointment you have difficulty handling disappointment what Last week. What do you mean? You know what I'm talking about. What? The 89. 
as you Here's our bad cameraman! Yes, 89 has you very upset. And there goes our bad camera. That was the weirdest thing ever. I was gonna turn off the video, but then I decided not to. That's so strange. I don't know what she is talking about. Okay, sorry. Back to the 3DS. More important. Um. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. I kind of tried out, like, all the different types of functions. Let's see. What was another one? Oh, yeah. I, I pressed the home button. And uh, it took me back to the home menu. I thought that was very neat. It's like multitasking on an iPhone. But, um... Then I realized that um, when you click another application, it sa says, would you like to suspend the other one, or, or like the suspended one or something. And then I'm like, what? Like, so you can't really multitask, you can only go to the home menu. And then I realized what the top buttons were for. for. The top buttons are also applications, but they're applications that you can go to while the game is playing. The top ones, like the uh, g game notes, you can write down strategies on it. It's very nice. Uh, I like it. It's kind of like um, that one with the frogs. Flipnote. Yeah, Flipnote Studios. It's kind of like that. It has like, black and then it has blue and red. But you can write down strategies for the games or notes. Or you can access uh, your buddies. Uh, I heard that the light on the 3DS, like uh, there's the notification light, and uh, if you see the uh, ha like if you go to the 3DS website, you can see that video. Actually, that was the video playing on the kiosk. It was playing that and it told you what the notifications were. Like blue is spot pass, green is street pass, orange is me uh, friends, if a friend gets connected, and red is batteries out. Yeah, I memorized that. <laughs> I love it. Um, so, yeah. And then you can also access the internet. Like, you can press the home button, and if you want to see, like, oh, this dog is very pretty. I love the poodle. <laughs> you can go on the internet and look for poodles. Or something. Although I don't think the internet would be that good. Since it's not really that great in the past. Um, but uh, it all will be coming in the May update. There's going to be a super worldwide update. I think Nintendo is doing that to like um, take it one step at a time. I wanted to do the AR games. Because that looks really cool. But I, don't, I didn't have any AR card. And so, yeah. And I wanted to do Face Raiders, although the, the top screen, the 3D, it really looks freaky. They're flying heads and like, mm -hmm. um, hopefully it's not like that in the game because that really scared me. I said that they're freaky. <laughs> but um, I wanted to do that, but the game system was tethered. So I was like tangled and like a... I uh, checked out the log. Nothing special. That's when the video got cut off. Um, let's see. Uh, and that was uh, about it when I saw it. But um, but it really is cool. But the 3D is very difficult. I constantly um, find myself like. Um, on like a bed and I'm t like tossing and turning trying to like get a good angle like I'm laying down on a couch or a bed and on, on a on a regular DS I have like troubles because my my back starts aching my arms start aching my legs start aching I might have to check with the doctor on that one but um <laughs> I know, my legs are starting to ache right now. I don't know why, but when I sit down for a while. But the best place to actually play the 3DS is a, is a swivel chair just like this. Oh, wait. Uh, a swivel chair just like this. Why? 
Okay. First of all, you you get the perfect 3D if it's sitting on your lap and you're looking at it. That is about the distance that you want. I remember when I was showing it to my dad, who, who when we were there the other day, he couldn't get the 3D because it was too low. And he was like, I don't see it. This is horrible. <laughs> but then I showed him this perfect spot. The perfect spot is about your lap and you're looking at it. And uh, that is the perfect spot. And the best way to do it is on a chair because you don't want to be like, flailing around the bed. I can't get it. Another reason why you want a swivel chair is for games like Face Raiders. I'm sure you want to like, like, go and you have to have the perfect 3D. This is about how far you want it if you're holding it up, but you put it down. You see, it's like the same thing. Huh? And then you're like, ooh, ow. Um, so yeah. Um, and I'm sure that uh, the 3DS would be really amazing. Um, I, uh, the slide pad is really nice and it's like rubbery feel and, and it's really comfortable um, and it slides like really nicely. The buttons, Nintendo said they had a metallic feel to them but they have a metallic look to them. They uh, they, they uh, like it, it's metal, it's obviously metal but to me it's just like plastic plated in metal. It feels like the same thing, but with shinier look. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference to your gameplay, but, um, what else? Um, I also really love the, uh, uh, depth slider. And, um, now for the stylus. It is, um, at the back, like the, uh, first 3DS, uh, not the uh, first DS, <laughs> this is the first 3DS, and uh, when you, like, you have to, like, slide it out with your finger, and I'm sure some people are not used to it, I would probably get used to it, because one time I, I wanted to play, like, a Game Boy Advance game, and when I took out the, um, thingy, the 3DS, um, stylus, uh, I, I was used to it already. Why is my hair messed up? But, um, um, so, yeah, but also the telescoping part of the stylus. Most people, when they pick up a 3DS, or they pick up their own, or actually any DS, they tend to turn it on first, they'll turn on, and then they'll get out their stylus, like, uh, there's some people who don't do that, and I know that, but, um, and so some people are going to have the problem when they take out their stylus, when they take out their stylus, it's, uh, like, you have to, if you want to telescope it, you can't do that with one hand, you have to use two, or you could do th that, but that would be uncomfortable, that actually hurts me a bit. But you can do that, but you have to use two hands to telescope it. That's the best way, but you have to put the 3DS down. And if you're in the middle of a lava lake, I'm not sure you want to do that, huh? Actually, you can hold it in one hand, like hold the 3DS on one hand and hold the end. But I think it's kind of complicated, and I'm probably not going to mess around with the telescoping that much if I get it. Um, uh... I'm fine with it. I mean, I mean, it, it, it's strange how the metal on a 3DS, it, it's not really that cold to the touch. The stylus, I thought it was going to look like cold, but it wasn't. It was pretty, the same thing as plastic, although metal. So, that is my review on the 3DS. Uh, it's pretty, it's a pretty impressive system. And if you go to Best Buy, try that uh, trick that I told you at the start of the video. Um, although you might have to do it multiple times because it took me multiple times because I couldn't figure it out. But you have to immediately press power when you press the LR 
select start button for three seconds. Immediately press it just once, like, <coughs> not that hard, because then you'll leave a dent in it. This is my needed eraser. It's an eraser that needs mustache!